So. Okay. So good morning, everyone. My name is Alberto, and I would like to talk. Uh, I would like to talk to you about my favorite music group, which is the Arctic Monkeys. I am sure that you're all very curious about who the Arctic Monkeys are. So first of all, does anyone know who they are? Has a general idea? No. Okay. <coughs> Perfect. Well, uh, so to give everyone as much information as I'm sure you have. Uh, let's get down to business and let's talk about the Arctic Monkeys. My presentation is divided into three parts. First of all, I will be I will be giving you some general information about the band. My next point will be the albums and the songs they have, and finally, I will talk about the members of the group. Uh, so, first of all, the Arctic Monkeys is a British indie band from Sheffield, which is in London, which I haven't found yet. Is that in London? Okay, well, I thought, I thought it was in London, and I wanted to visit it. But what I meant was... Wha what I meant was is that it was in, uh, in uh, somewhere near London. <laughs> okay, so moving on to my next point, the albums. The first album uh, was released in 2007, and the name is Whatever People Say I Am, That's What I'm Not. I feel this is a vital issue because... When they released their first album, they were only 19 years old. And from 2007 until now, 2010, they've got three albums. Whatever people say, and that's what I'm not. Favorite was Nightmare and Hangbird, plus singles, and they've done four world tours. I mean, in three years, that's a lot of music production. I think they have approximately more or less uh, 75 songs, which in three years, I think that's a lot of work. And finally, I would like to talk about the members. The founding members of Arctic Monkeys were Alex Turner, who is the lead guitar and vocals, Jamie Cook, the guitar, Andy Nicholson, who was the bass, and Matt Helder, the drummers. In 2008, in the, uh, when they were playing in <coughs> America, Andy Nicholson left the band, and now, they're, and now the new bass is uh, Nico Mali, who has been the bass since 2008. Uh, my suggestion would be for all of you to buy their CDs, not to download their music <laughs> and listen to it because you, I'm sure you will like it. They've got really good songs and they've got all kind of songs. And if you have any question, please do not hesitate and I'll be willing to ask to answer them. Okay, so could you tell me what album is the best for you? Well, I, um, I like the second one, favorite was Nightmare. Because I think it's the one that reflects uh, the most uh, what the Arctic Monkey spirit is. The third one is, I, I also like it, but it's very different. It's not pure indie music, which I love. It's more alternative. But I think they're all they're really good albums. Uh, why do you think they became so successful from the first album? Because... What's, the, what's, what's <coughs> about that album that's so amazing? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a point I should have covered, I'm sorry. Uh, what they did actually was not selling the album because uh, nowadays it's very expensive and most of the, most of the, profit, the profits the bands made is, uh, is, um, stays with the um, a company, with the Discover, what was the name? Discover fee? Okay, whatever. <coughs> and what they did was they put their, they created a website and they put all the songs and they say, okay, you can download the music for free if you want, or you can give the money you think the music <coughs> is worth. It can be from one pound up to uh, how much you want. And that's also what Radiohead did. And they're, they're both known for that. And they really quite, well, they succeeded, actually. No? What kind of other music do you listen to? Well, I I like all kinds of music. I like rock. I like dance, house, uh, hard style. But mainly, I like indie music like Mando Diao, uh, Arctic Monkeys, The Who, Def Leppard. Okay. Thank you very much.